Hello everyone at the Faculty of Divinity, Cambridge, where I give lectures on the philosophical structures and the theological visions of Hindu worldviews. I often wish I could take people listening to me to some temple town or village in India and show them that the conceptual materials that I have been discussing are not simply abstract ideas but are often very densely embedded in living streams of Hindu forms of worship. And then during this period of lockdown, I discovered the book of devotional songs that I was trained to sing from around the age of five years. And here's the book. I think I must have been in the second or the third standard in junior school. Sadly, I have mostly forgotten how to sing the songs. So even though my voice has lost whatever fine tuning it may have possessed when I was eight years old or 12 years old or 18 years old, I have decided to reteach myself these songs one by one. Now, in one sense, these songs can be viewed as live accompaniments to my B16 and C10 lectures in the faculty so that you may directly hear me striking some notes which I articulate in these lectures. Some of you may be trained in playing musical instruments such as the violin, the cello, the piano, the guitar, the flute, and so on. So if you would like to contribute to this process of reteaching uh, by joining me, uh, please let me know. Now, most of the songs uh, that I will be singing were composed by the Indian poet thinker Rabindranath Tagore in modern day Bengali. Some of the songs I will be singing were composed sometime in the 16th, even, even 15th century, and they were composed in a linguistic register that is an ancestor of modern day Assamese, Bengali, and Hindi. <laughs> 